Greetings all, Devious Monkey here. Ugh, what a nasty day. I'm going to get coffee. Uh, it's New Year's Day. We got up, we made breakfast, I ate breakfast, then I lay down on the couch watching Bob's Burgers and completely crashed for like three hours. So I don't know where the hell I am. Uh, I just know that I need coffee and uh, more food. <laughs> Something that I need to be more diligent about going forward is making lists. Now I'm a master at making lists. I do them all the time for work. I mean, I've got a ton of different spreadsheets that I've made that help me check things off as I need to do them. But I can't always carry around a big stack of spreadsheets and a bunch of highlighters with me. I have all of these apps at my disposal. And I even told you that, that I had reminders written for like the honey that, that I didn't get until the other day after having ran out and having it on this list that I didn't look at. So I need to start looking at these damn lists and I need to start creating them better. And I think a lot of the times I don't use my technology to its fullest capability, meaning I just do what I do because that's what I've always done. But I mean, these days, I don't even have to really like get into the phone. I could just, I could just call out her name and tell her to, to make a reminder and it gets added to the list. I mean, there's probably uh, automation for me to actually do everything that I need to do and have it shown to me so that I know I need to do it. I remember years ago, a few years ago, when I when I finally delved into the, the whole Apple system, and during my downtime in December, I went and took classes, sometimes three, four classes a day at the Apple store. And this is when I fully embraced the iCloud because I wasn't into cloud services then. Um, I, I started looking into every piece of their software trying to trying to see how I could make it work for me. That's when I started seeing the potential of all this stuff. Now, with the reminder, the, the kid showed me that, that I can set a reminder and he says, say you need paper towels. You can write down paper towels, put the location of where it is that you need them. So like put down target. And then when you get within a certain radius of that target, it'll pop up on your phone screen and tell you, hey, you need to get paper towels. And I was, I was blown away by that. And I've never used it since. So I need to start doing stuff like that to get organized and then make sure that I'm getting shit done. And I've also said how I have to go to Target every day or to the grocery store every day because every time I go, I end up forgetting stuff and then I'm like, ah, crap, you know, either when I go to use it or, or when my wife's like, hey, did you get, and I'm like, son of a bitch, you know, and then I gotta go back the next day. So it's a big waste of time and I shouldn't be doing that and, and I am going to make a very, very concentrated effort to not do that going forward. That's kind of what I wanted to talk about today in a long, you know, my usual long-winded way. But you gotta bear with me. I am completely delirious from sleeping like that. I don't like to take naps because of this. Because then I wake up, I feel like crap, usually because of my spine, and I'm like so looped out from waking up out of a deep sleep like that again that I don't really like, where the hell am I, what day is it, uh, who am I, kind of a thing. So that's what I'm running on right now. As I get myself prepared for 2021, work-wise is easy. I've gotten that down to a, to a science that I know exactly what I need to do to finish up last year to go into, into the new year. Not a problem. But personally, that's where I've got a problem because I'm, I'm not as organized personally as I am professionally. And that's, that's a shame. That's kind of amazing and pretty pathetic because I have no excuses. I have a wealth of technology at my fingertips that I can be using and I'm gonna start using it. Uh, one of the apps or, or platforms that, that I downloaded, and that's before it even started to get really popular, was Notion. I was following a girl who went through how she has her Notion set up to do what she does. And it included both her personal and her professional life. And I was like, wow, 
that that's pretty amazing. And it really wasn't all that difficult. Well, I guess it's as difficult as you make it. And she had it relatively simple. So the one creator that I follow that really showed me, okay, this is it, down and dirty, super simple, that way you'll do it, was done and did it. He went through and showed how he set his notion stuff up and, and he kept saying, paraphrase, if it's difficult at all, if it isn't really simple, I'm not gonna do it. And his stuff was really simple and right along the, the, the vein of how I like to do things. You gotta keep it really simple or you won't do it. And I know that because that's how I've always been, which is why I have all my work stuff set up so that it's very basic, very simple. I don't make these gigantic charts with pivot tables and, and a lot of graphics and all that kind of stuff. It's very simple. Here's the dealer. Here's what you need to do. Check it off. Did you do it or didn't you? You know, and that's kind of how I think I need to do this. So I'm actually today, now that I'm awake again, I'm going to go through and really dig into Notion and see, you know, you know, what I can do with it, how I can do that. I, I'm guessing that there's all these templates that you can download that people have created and set up, and, and you know, because it's caught on now and, and everybody uses Notion, uh, it, it's going to make it really easy for me to go through and find something that's like visually and intellectually appealing enough for me to download it or to just rebuild what I see in a way that makes sense for me. And that's kind of where I'm gonna go. All right, that's really all I got today. I just wanted to make it simple, very, very simple. And I just wanted to talk about how, you know, I'm delirious and I'm going all over the place because I need coffee. And it's made me think about how the fact that I'm not as organized as I should be. Because if, even if I'm delirious and I need coffee and I don't know what day it is, I should have something be able to pop up on my phone to tell me all those things and help me go through my day even though I'm not running full steam. And those tools are available, they're out there, I just need to find them and adapt them to my lifestyle and my way of doing things and get them done. So if you would, drop down in the comments, do you guys use particular apps? Do you just use a spreadsheet? Do you just use reminders? Do you use the old pad and pencil and carry it around with you? Uh, I'd be very interested to hear what you guys use to keep yourself organized and on track. Other than that, as always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.